What is up everyone? And I got another update video here. I know I made an update a little over a week ago saying I'd got out of the hospital. Well, my health has improved. I've been feeling a little bit better lately. Still not 100%. Um, getting there though. I still have that dizziness feeling every now and then. Um, but other than that, I pretty much have recovered. But what this update was mainly about is the upcoming game is going to be playing. And Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster episodes 58 and 59 will not have commentary. Because I wanted to beat the game and I was feeling bad uh, the other day. But I still wanted to beat the game so... I went ahead and beat the game without doing commentary. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to just get the game done, completed, and I didn't want to wait until later. Now, this was like a week ago when I beat it. Um, I just, like I said, I just didn't want to like wait to feel better and then record the commentary. I wanted to just get it. I wanted to get it over with. And I just didn't feel like recording commentary. So the ending of the game will not... The final episode and the episode before the final episode will not have any commentary. So 58 and 59. But I want to say that uh, the Pixel Remaster for Pump 6 is amazing. 9.5 out of 10. And I gave... The Game Boy Advance version is 7 out of 10. So you can see a great improvement. Uh, if you guys watched episode 1 of my Pixel Remaster playthrough, 6 Pixel Remaster, um, I said the game, I didn't really like the game that much because I played the Game Boy Advance version. The reason the Game Boy Advance version was so bad is because the audio was just terrible. So that's why I didn't like it. That was really the only reason I didn't like it. There are some other problems with it too. Not just the audio. But main, mainly it was the audio. Uh, but the Pixel Remaster is amazing. So now that that's done. Six Pixel Remasters. And I've beaten every single Pixel Remaster on the channel. Uh, one through six. So thank you guys for watching those videos. If you did. It was good to play through the Final Fantasy games again. And if Square Enix comes out with... I don't know, like... They're going to remake all 1 through 6 again. I'll, I'll play them again. Uh, like, you know. But, yeah. Pretty much, that's me in a nutshell, though. Like, going back and playing the older games I love so much. But it's also good to have them completed as well. Because I'd like to move on to games I haven't played before and everything like that. And speaking of games I haven't played before, Eden Chronicles Rising uh, it releases tomorrow at the time of this recording. It's um, actually almost tomorrow. It's 11.37 p.m. Uh, May 9th. Uh, Eden Chronicles Rising releases on the 10th of May. And I'll be starting a playthrough of that as soon as it releases. It's weird though because I looked on the PlayStation Store and it's not on the PlayStation Store for some reason. You can find it on the Steam Store but not on the PlayStation Store. So it's kind of weird. I'm going to look at Midnight again on the PS4 and see, why it's, see if it's on there at Midnight. Because typically on, for Sony... Um, when a game releases, it usually releases at midnight. So, I'm going to try to play it at midnight if I can. But I'm also playing through Suikoden 4. Um, I've already done playthroughs of Suikoden 1, 2, and 3. And Suikoden Woven Web of the Centuries. And now I'm starting a playthrough of Suikoden 4. So that's cool. I'm going to do a playthrough of that. 
I know a lot of people didn't really like Suikoden 4 too much, but I think it's a pretty good game. I didn't really have any issues with the game. I thought it was pretty good. What I'm really looking forward to is Eden Chronicles 100 Heroes. That's what I'm really looking forward to. Because Eden Chronicles 100 Heroes is a spiritual successor uh, to the Suikoden series. You see, Konami gave up on the Suikoden series after Suikoden 5. Or I guess, no, I guess it was Suikoden Tiercris is the last one. Oh, no, wait, Woven Web, was, Woven Web was the last one, but it was never released in America. Um, Tiercris came before Woven Web. But since Konami gave up on the Suikoden series... Fans have been fans like myself have been wanting a new Suikoden like game, and we're gonna get that whenever Eden Chronicles Hundred Heroes releases. I think sometimes next next year, sometime I think. So I am looking forward to playing that a lot. Like you guys have no idea how bad I want to play Eden Chronicles Hundred Heroes. Just to put it in perspective, I backed that game like a week after it came out. And I haven't backed anything on Kickstarter. I don't believe in that kind of stuff. I don't believe in donations and like giving like money away and stuff like that for a project. That's why I don't do live streams because I don't want people to give me money. It's not like I don't feel it's right. Um, that's just me though. Uh, I'm fine with other people making money doing it, but I just don't want to do it myself. But I put all that aside and I still back the game. Not something I would do, normally do, but I was so hyped for this game that I backed it on Kickstarter and it's not something I do. I don't back Kickstarter projects. I don't donate to live streamers. I don't do any of that stuff. I feel like people should spend their money on themselves. Don't give money to live streamers and stuff like that. Like the five bucks you give to a live streamer, you could be using on yourself. Buy buy you something like I don't know, not very much you could buy for five dollars, but buy yourself a burger or two or something like that. I don't know. That's just how I always feel about it. I'm fine with them making like ad revenue and stuff like that, but it's just like, it ain't something I'm ever going to be interested in. Maybe one day I'll change my mind, but I'll just stick with making content and not really doing live streams. It's just not, like I said, it's just not something I'm interested in. I guess the main thing is I like to earn earn the money, not like have it, have it handed to me or whatever. And I feel there's a lot of that when, when it's like live streaming and stuff. You don't really have to put much effort in. You just play a game and the money just flows. It's not like that with ad, ad revenue because ad revenue is uh like low amount or whatever but anyway i'm going on a tangent now at this point so i'm just gonna stop talking now um but yeah upcoming playthrough sweet in four and eden chronicles rising and then 100 heroes whenever it comes out next year i'll do a playthrough of it and i completed fumpy's six pixel remaster i completed stranger of paradise and I'm almost done with Chrono Cross Remastered as well, so very much done with pretty much all the playthroughs that I'm doing. So looking forward to the new projects and thank you guys for watching. Later.